Hi there and thanks for watching. In this video we'll cover creating a new account, integrating with QuickBooks, and creating an ACH file. Connecting ACH Universal to QuickBooks lets you easily create and transmit ACH files to your bank, but it doesn't change how you already work in QuickBooks. Writing checks, entering bills, your processes all stay the same. To get started, from the Treasury Software Welcome screen, select either ACH Universal or Canadian EFT, and our sample account will open. Our sample account is configured for testing with their tutorial, so we'll start by creating a new account. To create your own account, select File, New Account. Create is the default option. We'll name the account Checking. When finished, you'll be switched to your new account. To use our QuickBooks integration, ACH Universal and QuickBooks must be installed and running on the same computer. To connect to QuickBooks the first time, you will need to be logged into QuickBooks as an administrator, be in single user mode, and have only one QuickBooks company open. Please note, after your initial setup, you can work in multi-user mode. The first time you go to the QuickBooks Software Integration window, a QuickBooks icon will flash in your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. The flashing icon indicates access to your QuickBooks company has been requested. On the Permission screen, most users select the third choice, to allow access when QuickBooks is running. ACH Universal is now connected to QuickBooks and will display the list of bank accounts from the QuickBooks Chart of Accounts. We'll select the checking account and Next. During this setup, three custom fields are automatically created in your customer, employee, and vendor profiles in QuickBooks. The three fields are bank account number, routing number, and a checking or savings indicator. Remember, ACH Universal creates these fields automatically. Please do not create them manually. This completes our QuickBooks setup. Next, I'll enter three transactions in QuickBooks, a vendor payment, a direct deposit, and a customer collection, just to show how they'll get included in a transmission file. Please note, I'm working in a QuickBooks sample company, and banking information has already been entered into my profiles. Banking information only needs to be entered for customers, employees, or vendors with transactions to be included in a transmission file. I'll start with a vendor payment. I'll use pay bills, but you could also use write checks. I select Cal Gas and Electric to pay their bill of $137.50, then assign check numbers. This is an electronic payment, so I won't print a check. Next, I'll pay an employee. I select pay employees, then unschedule payroll. I'll pay Shane a $500 bonus. On the next screen, I select Assign Check Numbers since I'm not printing a check. Then print pay stubs. I can either print or email the stubs. Our third transaction is a customer collection. I select Receive Payments. Adam's Candy Shop owes $159.75. I enter the amount to be collected and use the Deposit To dropdown to select my checking account. Now I'm ready to create a transmission file with my sample transactions. I go to the QuickBooks Software Integration window and select View Transactions. The transactions that need to be sent to the bank will be displayed. Think of this screen as a window to your QuickBooks transactions. Our three sample transactions now appear. Note the totals at the bottom of the screen. As a best practice, always confirm your totals and the number of records. I select Send Transactions to ACH Universal to create the file. I then get a prompt asking me to complete the ACH file setup. I select Yes. If you haven't received the banking information you need to complete your setup, don't worry. You can still create a test file for your internal use. This screen is for ACH users in the U.S. Our Canadian users should opt for the Canadian setup and watch our Canadian setup video. Enter your bank's ABA routing number, your bank's name, your company ID. This is assigned to you by your bank, 
but it is most often a 1 followed by your federal ID number and your company name. Now let's create the file. The name and location of the transmission file appears on the prompt. This is the file you'll transmit to the bank. Although your path and file name may be different, your transmission file can always be found in this location. Let's take a look at the file. Keep in mind the sample file format you see here may look different from your bank's format. Notice that all three transactions, Cal Gas and Electric, Shane's Bonus, and Adam's Candy Shop are here. Congratulations! You've connected to QuickBooks and created a test file. Please watch the next video, Working with QuickBooks Records, which covers common and advanced tasks.